guys, welcome back to part two of Immoral Desires, the new book from Choices. Let's begin. You've woken up in the lair of the, of the Crimson Beach Vampires. As you face a life or death trial, will you prove your innocence or be found guilty? Oh, man. I wonder if I get to be a vampire. Oh, right. Um, about the love interest thing. I don't know if I get if I'll get the option to pick both, but if I do, I'll take I'll take the chance. But but here's the thing. If I'm allowed to choose one love interest, I might choose Gabriella because as always, I set my sights on the first girl I see. So I'm picking Gabriella throughout the rest of the story and um Hopefully, I get to become a vampire. If I don't, it's fine. Because, yeah. Chapter 2, Into the Lair. Ugh. Wakey, wakey. What do you mean? Yet. Help. Clyde, keep him quiet. <laughs> His name's Clyde. Principal Yao? Cass? Principal Yao? What is... I... Where... Ouch! Then enlighten me. What's going on and why am I here? <clears throat> the Nexus? And I'm what? A witness in case in the case? What could she possibly have against me? We we met for half a second. She's my principal. Oh, for crying out loud. The most ferocious? How? Many other kinds of covens are... How many kinds of covens are, are in this town? Just one.
So I just need so I just need to get uh, Astoria and Lewin to both agree not to kill me and then I'm home free. You have to kill me and I'm home free. He's been so helpful. He wants them to kill me. But if he but if he's the this willing to spill the beans, maybe he'll maybe something I can use to convince them to let me live. Impre impressing the vampires will boost your standing with the covens. Sway key members to come to your aid and prove that their secret is in good hands. Luck hearing fear aside, this is kind of cool, and if they're going to kill me anyway, I might as well know everything, right? <laughs> Your funeral. Lewin seems like a stickler for following rules. Is he always like this? Lewin doesn't seem to have a unique way of thinking. That's if it's a relief that he, that he doesn't seem okay with humans or terrified that he works with them. I mean, it's like nobody's going to believe you anyway. Okay, they may, but there's a slight chance they might not believe you. My believer. I thought vampires had red and black eyes, not silver eyes. I mean, all that happened was... 
The victim was in the middle of the woods and it was dark. How do you know she'd find her way to town? Doesn't seem like a story he likes to lay one very much. The story is bringing a lot of aggression. What? Wait, is he blaming me or Cass? Oh my god. He's talking about mom. Her medical examiner job. doing to her No. Wait. You were trying to stay alive. If you think I was going to lie, lie down and let Cass kill me, you're sadly mistaken.
What? That's right. Clyde said, and that's right. Clyde said that Lewin was all about reason and logic. If I make good points and keep a level head, I should be able to win them over. <laughs> if I can. I don't want to die, besides... I'll repay you however you want. Ain't gonna prove I'll keep your secret. Come on. Wait, what? How do you know about 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 the mom? Really? Thank you. You... You tried to kill me. You want kill me. You tried to kill me. You wanted me dead. You're toying with me. At my expense. If you think for us one second that I'm indebted to you in any way, you're sadly mistaken. Especially with your bad attitude.
Yeah, well, what happened to you last night? Anyway, you just got pulled away and I never saw you again. I wish I could, but screams like that aren't easily forgotten. Neither is the fact that you literally chased down a helpless girl in the woods and and killed her. Can we answer this question? How is a vampire walking in the day? Is she a damn is she a dampier? Because dampiers are half vampires and they walk in the sunlight. They did this to you? That's barbaric. How can vampires do this to each other? It's not a bad thing. How is that a bad thing? Don't skip school anymore. For what it's worth, I'm sure it won't be too bad. Of course. There has to be some way out of this, some way to keep my mom, keep me and my mom safe. But if they come after us... Ah! Mm -hmm. It's just a passing bell. Keep it together, Anthony. Oh my god, they're in the school. Are they the teachers? I can't talk about it. Last night after you left me at my house, someone came for me. They knocked, knocked me out and brought me to the nest or the nook or... I was on trial for what I'd seen. They let me live for now, but if I don't keep what I know a secret there they they're gonna kill me and my mom how can you say that Yeah, I can see that. Wait a minute. You saw what Cass did too, but you weren't at the Nexus. That must mean... Shh.
Do they already have you under the same ultimatum as me? Oh, Gabriella. Don't be sorry. Just let me help. You can tell me things whenever you want. We're in this together now, so you can count on me. I feel terrible. I didn't mean to dredge up such painful memories. The Journal of William Pierce. July 17th, 17th, 1623. I am no longer certain that selling here in Crimson Beach was the correct decision. There I stood in the center of a small clearing in the woods, two men alongside me. Their faces were somber as they looked down at my bo at a body on the ground. I squatted down and turned Blackwood's head, revealing the tell the telltale wound in his neck, and the younger men looked around the woods uneasily. The woman's lip trembled before she collapsed close to the ground in a heap of sobs without a care in the world about the whispering onlookers.
As she screamed on, two men broke through the crowd and grabbed the widow Blackwood by her arms, restraining her. A nod from me was all it took to get them to move out of the view of the rest of the town. Her cries faded with distant, but buzz of the crowd only grew. Wow. Did nobody ever realize it was vampires? That's true. And William here seemed to be on the right path. Humans obviously found out at some point. One day, I st one day I studied the leaves and found them as f vibrantly red in winter as in the peak of summer, spring and fall. As I whirled around, I found two people where, where previously there had been none. They stood eerily still, watching me in one hand, and each held a candle in the another. A, a tied burlap sack. As and as she spoke. She looked at me with a grin that could raise the other smile, uh, smile to smile, devoid f of warmth, and handled me this the sack he was holding. I looked inside the sack and found it filled with herbs, flowers, and small vials of s cider. But when I looked up again, the unusual p townspeople were gone. The origin of the Autumn Festival? And I'm guessing from your reaction, it's a pretty big deal. Just like in the journal, any chance I could help Help with this gears. I feel like there's something there. Those strange people he met. It sounds like the vampires we were already living among the townsfolk back then, going mostly undetected. Well, I even said that Cass was young, so she couldn't possibly have been around. But could it could it be that Lewin was like, in Crimson Beach back then, or Astoria?
Look at this. The journal mentions at home that burned, or the home that burned down in the middle of the night. The bodies of the family inside were too badly charred to get any information from them. None of the other homes on the road were affected, and a neighbor recalled the youngest daughter crying about the day before. Don't you see? This couldn't have been an accident. That family must have known something. What? That's true. Mayor should be the one to protect you. I've got the knowledge to go with the muscles and all. How could I forget my hero? <clears throat> Deal. Equal partnerships are the best kind of relationships anyway. Vampire said they would let us live, but I need to make sure Mom's okay with my own two eyes. And, if, and I have to find out how much she knows about these murders. If she's digging as much as Laywin thinks, I can't let her get too close to the truth. Yeah, well, j just eager to get to school, I guess. Probably because I woke up in the middle of the forest. Mom, please stop. So I'm guessing you heard about the, or last night's murder. Mom, I'm fine. Look at me. All in peace. There's no need to be concerned. <laughs> yes. But I promise I won't go into the woods again. That was different. You told me I should have some fun my senior year. I mean, you did say that. I won't go back out there. Not now, not now that the murders have gotten so close. I'm sorry for scaring you. I mean it.
This is gruesome. Why is there so much carnage? I thought vampires only drink blood. Shouldn't there just be a prick on the victim's neck? Mom. Yeah. Bites, tears, things you know. I need to figure out if mom suspects anything out of the ordinary. But how do I find out without pushing too far? So... You're right, I shouldn't let scary stories from the kids at the school get in my head. It must be some new... Did the last medical examiner leave behind any theories? You mean they died? Vision save so two? No. No way. Was there a second vampire in the woods last night? One that I didn't even see? Hi, Doctor. They are everywhere! <laughs> well... Okay, usually the screen turns black, but okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to my channel, share this with your friends, comment below what you think of the video. If you want to get notified of any video I put up on my channel, hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I will see you all in the next video.